Now, both businesses and countries have a key role to play in ensuring a sustainable future. Well, the World Sustainable Business Forum in Dubai brings together businesses and government leaders to do just that. Yes, and Mersey Sodawalla, Water founder and chairman of the World Sustainable Business Forum, wants to bring together individuals and organisations committed to in innovating and creating positive change in the region and beyond. And he's here to tell us more. Very good morning to you, sir. Very good morning to both of you and thank you for having me here. A pleasure. So tell us about the, uh, the talks that you're about to uptake here at Expo 2020 and the themes and the subjects and what you're going to be covering. Sure. So uh, just to give you a quick background about the World Sustainable Business Forum, we just yeah. uh, launched it about two months back uh, under the patronage of 13 leading sustainability nations with the ambassadors uh, participating in it. And we had uh, the Nordic countries, which are known to be the most sustainable nations in the world, uh, essentially Norway, Denmark, Finland and Sweden. The ambassadors participate in a panel discussion. Uh, we had uh, Dr. Tariq bin Hendi, who was the Director General of the Abu Dhabi Investment Office, inaugurate the forum by sharing uh, the Abu Dhabi Sustainability Vision and, of course, several other government and business leaders. Uh, what we're looking at doing is continuing that in the Expo by hosting government and business leaders, by sharing uh, the best practices that they are following uh, with respect to sustainable business, and, uh, you know, talking about each one's aspects and the most important aspects that are contributing to sustainability. Often sustainability is confused as a word which relates to the environment, mm -hmm. which is not really the case. It is actually applied to all sectors. We had almost every sector covered in the inaugural forum, and we're looking forward to doing that again. Well, let's talk about some of the practical steps you're doing, because as well as having a lot of these talks, there's actually a lot of work that you're doing with the private sector here. I know you've been working right. with supermarkets to try and use AI to help them reduce food wastage. Right. So uh, food wastage uh, is a grave issue for everyone, and supermarkets often face the challenge of not only writing off the economic business value of the food that is wasted, but also limiting the ability to give their shoppers a great experience, you know, by reducing the prices. Now, just to give you an example, if we visit a supermarket, usually we know that uh, the poor guy has taken all the effort to put the freshest items at the back of the shelf. Yeah. And the fact that there is no incentive for any customer to pick up an earlier expiry product, they end up picking up the freshest product. In the process, those products which are expiring earlier stay on the shelf and are eventually discarded those end up being in the landfill. So what we've done is we've uh, got a partner who has an excellent technology using deep machine learning and artificial intelligence by integrating dynamic pricing, which allows the retailer to have more than one pricing of the product displayed, which enables reduction of food losses because then those products are picked up because there's an incentive to the customer. And it also saves the planet because you're avoiding that food wastage to go through the landfill. So you mean dynamic pricing, you mean products exactly. that are at the front of the shelf, they're likely to go off, maybe they're uh, discounted. Right, so there is mm. a pricing displayed, uh, there are two pricing displayed for each product okay. based on the freshness of the product. So typically a full expiry product would be priced the same and you would have a discounted price for an earlier expiry product. So just imagine yourself wow. walking into a supermarket wanting to have a juice, usually you would look for the freshest one, but if you have a discount for something that's expiring tomorrow and you've got to consume it today, why not? You would take it. Yeah, incredible. That's a great option, actually. Mm -hmm. And sometimes with the expiry date and use-by date, there's a lot of people get mis yeah. uh, misled by those sort of things and they're looking at them and thinking, uh, oh, I've got to eat it by tomorrow. But it actually is a sell-by and then use-by is often exactly. later mm -hmm. on. So right. a great idea and a great way for, to encourage people to, because I would do it, yeah. um, you would do it, Absolutely. you know, when you've got families and children and the costs are really important yes. for families, <laughs> it's a great way, fantastic yeah. idea, isn't it? Right, and also it helps you become socially responsible and you incur uh, better practices in your own personal lifestyle. So. Those are things that we like to inculcate through different sustainable businesses here. Really interesting. Well, thank you so much for updating us about your work, Mansi, and best of luck here at Expo Talks. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you very you. much for your time. Thank you very much indeed.